Now here's another one that doesn't cost too much. Oops. That's a rock. Anybody got any of those laying around you could use? It's a rock painted white, brought in by our IS director. And how do you create recognition out of a rock? It's all in the meaning behind it. You, this gentleman, Dale Hembra, is signing his name on the rock. You don't get to have your name on the rock until you do something that adds value to the overall structure of the corporation in a way that's recognized by a majority of the people in the IS department. To get that kind of recognition from your peers and the boss and to have a ceremony when everybody gathers around the rock and you kneel down on the ground to sign your name on it is a big deal. Now, if you don't have a recognition culture, it's not a big deal. If you have that feeling amongst your team, you can create a wonderful, moving, emotional experience signing a damn painted rock. Everybody got a pin? I bet it's really important to you because I presented it purposely absolutely the wrong way, right? I handed them out like they were popcorn. That is not the way you present anything. It doesn't matter that it only cost a buck 86. It matters how you present it. Now, what I typically do with one of these when I walk into a restaurant, I'll say, hey, who in this restaurant gives the best passionate customer service? And all the time, there's at least one person right away going, I do. And in one case, this little girl named Jessie has said, okay, Jessie, prove it to me. She goes, what do I have to do? I'll do it. I said, well, I'm going to award you this pin only if you can make the next three customers that come into the restaurant smile. I don't mean that smile. I mean teeth, top and bottom teeth showing smile. Can you do it? I can do it. I said, okay, go. I'm going to be watching in the back here. And I'm kind of off to the side. And here's Jessie, and she works with the mom and two little kids come in. And she's working them, and she's just going, oh, you have the most beautiful children. She goes, it's probably a nice day for you to not to have to cook, come into our restaurant, just have some time to talk to your kids. I want to be a mom someday. You know, I bet you really enjoy being a mom. And, of course, anybody talking about somebody's kids in a positive way, mom gets this big smile on her face. And I, I see her from behind, and she does one of that. She goes like this. And I nod my head, you know. So customer number two comes in, and she makes this guy smile. He's just laughing. He's kind of walking to his table, just looking at her, shaking his head. Third customer has come in. It's two guys. They're in overalls, dirty. They've been working outside, and they are dragging. You know, they, they've always been working real hard. And she goes, guys, I'm so happy to see you. I've been waiting for you to come in. And they're kind of like, yeah, OK. And they're looking up at the menu board. And she says, you know, I can tell you the best thing to eat. You just have to tell me kind of what you're feeling like today, and I'll put together a dynamite package for you that you're really going to enjoy. And they're just ignoring her, right? <laughs> now, she looks back at me like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, come on, come on, you know. So she keeps working, and I won't go through the whole thing, but she's like exhausted. And finally, she slaps her hand down on the counter, and she says, now look it, I'm trying to win this stupid little pin, and I have to make you smile in order to get it. Will you please smile for this guy back there so I can win this pin? <laughs> and what did they do? They said, jeez, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool, man. They started smiling, you know. And finally, the guy calls me out, and he says, what are you doing here? And I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, are you like thinking that if you make customers smile, they're going to want to come back more often or something? And I went, yeah. And he goes, works for me. <laughs> and then I made a big ceremony in front of those two guys and the employees of awarding Jessie with this pin. And she wears it proudly. That's the difference. It isn't the value in a buck 86. It's how you present it, what value you put behind the recognition. Now, um, when you guys drive down the street and you see a KFC store, you don't see one like this. This is the new image that they're going to be built in. But when you see a KFC store, you go, huh, KFC store. When I drive down the street, I see Harmon, Linda, Inc. Or I see Harmon, Jose, and Wendy, Inc. Or I see Harmon, Baker, Inc. Because each one of our corporations is named after an individual that's made a major contribution through different matrices that we put together. And they also get to buy 1% of the store. 
and they get a plaque with a description of their contribution to the business and a picture hung next to the plaque hanging in the restaurant. Now, how much does that cost us? Very, very little. Yet this is the mo one of the most honorable things that we do. When we presented to one manager, I remember it clearly, I said, Mike, this restaurant will forever be known as Harmon Tristler. And he looked at me and he says, damn, I'm immortal. <laughs> And how cool to see your name listed on the company reports and to have other people talk about working at the store that's named after you. Now you might be thinking, well that, that sounds all good, naming things after people, but I don't know how that fits into my business. You know, do you have trucks that you use? Do you have, your organization have trucks? What, couldn't you name your trucks after people? Couldn't you name conference rooms after people? There's all ways that you can think about how to recognize somebody with merely a name.